today, Gustavo and I are going to be making a slingshot in the woods with just a Swiss Army knife. Um, really, all you need to make a slingshot in the woods is a knife and a saw. This thing has both. Here's the saw. And there's a the knife. That's really all we need. So we're just going to kind of walk around for a little bit, find a nice tree fork, cut it down with a Swiss Army knife, and make a slingshot out of it. So this is an ironwood. It's a common ironwood. I've made plenty of slingshots out of this. Actually, the first video on my channel was made out of this. Oh, look at that one. You see it? Yep. Get the saw out. Somewhere down there. Finally. My foot! <laughs> okay. There we go. That's our tree fork. Let's go make a slingshot out of it. <laughs> First step, we're gonna cut to the right size. Across there and there. <sighs> Two. Probably hold it like that. Might as well, I guess. Lost something. It's a fly. It just, it literally hit the camera lens. <laughs> it's stubby, <laughs> but it's there. And it's actually the right perfect size, so we're good. Now, we're gonna start rounding the tips off with the knife portion. I can talk right, mm -hmm. since there's gonna be music. Well, it probably won't be, but. So really you just round it off so the bands don't rip. Mm. One side. So when you make a slingshot like this, you're not really going for looks. I just want it to be comfortable. Uh, I'm gonna round the back off. Okay, backs rounded off slightly. Band grooves, and that'll be the last step. And if we're gonna hold it on this side, we're gonna put the band grooves on this side. Take out the saw. And we're basically just gonna make a little seven notch, so you cut in a little ways. It should probably be good. And on both sides. Okay, then we take the knife out. And just carve down to those notch lines. They're really fast. The longest, the hardest and longest part is just finding the right tree fork and cutting it down. After that, it's easy. See, seven. There's one seven notch or one band groove. I'll do this one. Okay. Okay. That's all you need for a working slingshot. And now we're gonna go throw some bands on it. And we made that whole thing with just a pocket knife. Pretty good. There we go. So, we've got a 20 to 12 
1.7 band set. Yep. Okay, bands are cut. We're gonna go put them on. I'm gonna add a little thing back here just to keep the tie on in place. One wrap. Slingshot band goes here. Where's your, what's your thumb? Yeah, like that. <laughs> Fold it over. I go one, two, over the thumb, under the thumb, like that. Pull it through a little bit. There we go. Perfect. There you go. Slingshot in the woods with just the Swiss Army knife. Now we're going to go shoot it. Good? Yep. Okay. First ever shot, 9.5 millimeter steel, 10 yards on the pheasant head. You can zoom in. Ready? Yep. There we go, there's one, two, Is that two, three for three? Yeah. I don't know. One more hit. <laughs> okay. The last shot is going to be on one of these red snappers. It's basically a firecracker that explodes on impact. So if you shoot them, they make it a loud noise. Okay. There we go. Last time. Ready? Did you see how close that was? I'm trying to. You can barely see it on the camera, but it's like shit. You'll hear it. Just barely high. Okay, here we go, this is the one. I hit it. I Her nailed it. it. It barely made a noise though. I hit it dead center, look. I really blew it in half. Right there. Right there. I hit it again. I don't know why they're not as loud as normal. Well, that was not as exciting as I... Thought it was gonna be. That is it for the making of slingshot with just a Swiss Army knife. This is really all you need if you're on a budget and you just want to make one to shoot. Uh, works good. I was hitting the targets pretty good. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next video. Bye.